This video will demonstrate the new preliminary design with tendons feature in RCB and PTD by checking the thickness of a post-tensioned two-way flat plate slab in a residential building. Tendons are now automatically created, allowing quick and accurate design checks to be performed during the preliminary design stage. The model was created in RCB using CAD import and all vertical and horizontal loads were applied and the model analyzed. RCB uses gross uncracked section properties, so in order to determine the long-term deflection of the slab considering cracked section properties, it must be exported to SLB for a reinforced concrete design or to PTD for a post-tension concrete design. The existing batch export and run feature allows the user to export multiple floors in bulk to SLB and or PTD launch and run SLB or PTD in the background automatically and view their results in RCB. The goal is, during the preliminary design stage when determining slab thicknesses, the user does not have to leave the RCB software. Until now, only a simple preliminary design without tendons could be performed with the batch export feature. The constant pre-stress and uplift that was applied also did not consider tendon losses and was not a true indication of how the post-tension slab would behave in reality. The alternative was to manually draw tendons and then fix all of their profiles in the PTD software, which was very time consuming. Now when performing a batch export from RCB to PTD, tendons will be automatically created allowing the slab thickness to be verified quickly during the preliminary design stage. Looking at the slab in RCB, we can see that we have a 230 thick slab with 30 mils set down to the wet areas and a 100 step to the balconies. Before we do a design with tendons, we will do a preliminary design without tendons first, just for comparison. Rather than use the batch export tool, I'll just export out a single floor. After setting my preliminary design with no tendon settings, PTD is launched silently in the background and performs its analysis. With the preliminary design with no tendons finished, we can view the PTD calculated KCS long-term deflections in the RCB software. These are considered to be an idealized best case as a constant pre-stress has been applied along with a constant uplift, which we won't be able to achieve in reality. Losses also are not considered. To get more accurate results, tendons must be added to the slab. The tendons are automatically added based on the auto tendon settings. Tendon spacing, strand size and number of strands are chosen to give a desired pre-stress. Note, the P on A value shown here is only indicative. The true pre-stress, considering varying uplift, restraint and losses, will be calculated when the slab is analysed in PTD. The tendons will be generated by the PTD software at the moment the floor is exported and run, using preliminary design with tendons. In order for the tendon profiles to be correct, slab offsets must be input. As we are running and exporting from RCB, we must input the offsets in RCB first. By default, the offset property is off in RCB and can be switched on under Settings Viewing Options. The slabs can be flattened by setting a zone as master and aligning the top or suffit of the other zones, as shown here for the wet area. This was repeated for all other areas and the step in the top of the slab can be viewed. As we can see, we have a 100 step to the external balconies and a 30 step to the wet areas in the top of the slab. In order for the program to generate tendon profiles, support lines must be first defined. Where a tendon intersects a support line, a high point will be generated. Low points are created automatically in between the high points. Therefore, support lines must be drawn following the belts of negative moment in the slab. They have been drawn in the orthogonal direction for simplicity. They have also been drawn on the back face of the fold so that the tendon can run through the fold in the slab to the balcony without any issues. 
support lines must still be drawn by the user. If care is taken when drawing the support lines, the default tendon profiles generated by the software and hence the results produced by the software during the preliminary analysis with tendons will be very accurate and close to the final detailed design. Pressing preliminary design with tendons launches PTD silently where it starts its analysis. It is at this point that the tendons are automatically generated based on the size and spacing that was set previously in the auto tendons input. The tendon profiles are created based on the slab offsets and support lines as we have defined. PTD is performing a losses and uplift analysis and a design as it has done previously but with one key difference. The strict tendon profile checks that would previously stop the analysis are now ignored. For a final detail design they must be addressed, but we do not want a few profile errors stopping the analysis during the prelim design stage. We want to get results out quickly. We do not want too many errors, however, as we want the results from this preliminary analysis with tendons to be close to our final detail design. Hence, why care must be taken when drawing the support lines. After the preliminary analysis with tendons is complete, the tendons that were automatically created can be viewed, as can the PTD calculated results. As we can see, the automatic copying and clipping of tendons has caused some of them to run through voids, and some to run through the shear core. However, this did not stop the analysis. Any uplift generated in the tendons running through voids will be ignored and will not affect the results. The deflections are now more accurate than the preliminary analysis without tendons. We can also view the pre-stress values as calculated by PTD in RCB if desired. So this first pass check of slab thicknesses is complete. If we wanted to, we could open the PTD file in the PTD software and fix the profiles running through voids, but this is not necessary as they will not have a major impact on the results. If doing a detailed design, we would continue working on the PTD file created by the export operation. As we are only checking the slab thickness, the work is now complete. We can adjust slab thicknesses or PT rates as needed. The process of checking the slab thicknesses, which previously could take over half a day for this floor, was reduced to under half an hour using the new auto tendon feature, preliminary design with tendons, and exporting from RCB to PTD with tendons. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.